our body a external organ hello students our body is composed of organs that are part of different body systems that allow the human body to work external organs are the organs which will support to any purpose and to do any work they can be seen with the naked eyes externally without using any instrument external organs like skin cover the entire body and protect from damage to temperatures infections etc in this lesson you will learn about our external organs unit 2 our body ye external organs we have many parts in our body they are called organs each organ helps us to do a particular function some organs appear externally they are called external organs look at the following picture external organs are broadly divided into three parts they are one head two trunk three arms and legs one head our head has eyes nose ears mouth and hair the front portion of our head is called the face eyes eyes help us to see nose nose helps us to breathe and to smell ears ears help us to hear sounds mouth upper lip teeth tongue lower lip mouth helps us to speak and to eat we have a tongue and teeth in our mouth tongue helps us to know the taste teeth help us to chew the food hair the strands on our head are collectively called as hair skin the upper layer of our body is called the skin the skin protects our body we feel various sensations with the help of skin sense organs we have five sense organs they are eyes ears nose tongue and skin neck the part which connects head and trunk is called neck two trunk the part below the neck except legs and arms is called the trunk the upper and heart portion of the trunk is called the chest the lower and smooth portion of the trunk is called the abdomen the rear portion of the trunk is called the back 3 arms and legs arms we have arms on either side of trunk arms help us to work legs they are under the trunk legs help us to walk and run fingers and toes middle finger ring finger little finger index finger thumb palm wrist nails toes we have five fingers to each hand and five toes to each foot the sharp edged parts of fingers are called the nails 
do these? 1. Fill in the blanks. Conceptual understanding. Two, answer the following questions in a word or a phrase. One, conceptual understanding. Three, answer the following questions. Conceptual understanding. Four. Choose the number and write near the picture. Communication. B. Personal Hygiene We should maintain cleanliness and follow good habits to be healthy. He is Madhavan. He is studying first standard. He gets up early in the morning. He brushes teeth and cleans tongue. Then he takes a bath. He wears washed clothes. He combs hair neatly. He wears shoes or sandals and goes to school. He plays with his friends in the evening. He takes a bath after coming back home. He reads in sufficient lighting at night. After completing homework, he has dinner. He washes hands, legs and mouth before eating. He goes to bed early in the night. He takes a head bath regularly. He cut short his nails often. He breathes fresh air. He takes enough rest. He takes a balanced diet. He does exercise daily. Madhavan keeps himself clean to be healthy because health is wealth. 
do these? One, fill in the blanks. Conceptual understanding. Oh no, do it again. No, do it again. <laughs> Two, take if true or cross if false in the brackets. Conceptual understanding. Three, answer the following questions in a word or a phrase. Conceptual understanding. Oh no, do it again. Four, match the following. Communication. No.